Hello, this is Edward from Valarm. In this video, you'll see how to do remote water flow monitoring with Valarm. This is a micrometer E7000 water flow rate sensor. It outputs 4 to 20 milliamps, an industry standard for sensors. The output is linear with flow rate, and since it uses a 2 wire 4 to 20 MA signal, the sensor readings can travel up to a mile, around 5,000 feet or 1.5 kilometers. Inside the junction box on the water flow sensor, you'll see two screws where you will connect a Valarm compatible Yocto 4 to 20 MA sensor adapter. Here I've matched up the red and black connections to the 4 to 20 MA sensor adapter, which plugs in via USB to an Android device running the Valarm Pro app. In this setup, you also see a Valarm Y cable that allows the Android device to charge at the same time as it is talking to a sensor via USB OTG host mode. You also see here the Sony Xperia U ST25 phone, one of our favorite devices for dedicated deployments. Now for the initial configuration of Valarm with this water flow sensor, we'll go to all settings, Yoctopus, then 4 to 20 MA, all inside the Valarm Pro app. Since I've got everything plugged in and ready to test, I'll enable Yoctopu sensors and then click the Scan All button at the top of the 4-20 MA screen. You'll see that the sensor is properly detected and also get a current sample reading. Now I'll emulate water flow by spinning the drive shaft by hand, which will normally be spun by water in a propeller once it's installed in a pipe. Now when I click Scan All again, you see the reported sensor values changing between a low of 4 and a high of 20, depending on how fast it's spinning. Now where's the data? The Android device with the Valarm Pro app is linked to the Valarm Tools Cloud website and uploads the sensor data to tools.valarm.net. You can view your real-time sensor data and Valarm Tools Cloud from any device with a web browser. Here you can see that the water flow data we just collected was all geotagged with latitude and longitude coordinates. We can also see where the sensor readings happened on a map. Here's a tabular view of the Valarm data collected at regular time intervals. You can download this timestamp data with one click in CSV or KML format. You can also graph the sensor values and see exactly when certain values like highs or lows were hit. To download a CSV file with your sensor data, just click the Download CSV button, and then you can do further analysis, statistics, decision making with your sensor data in other applications like Excel, MATLAB, SPSS, SAS, or Esri ArcGIS. You can also do real-time sharing or forwarding of your Valarm sensor data using our APIs. This is easy to do. Just turn it on in the Device Manager then click the Generate URL button to create an API URL for JSON or JSONP, KML, CSV, or GeoRSS. These URLs are updated in real time and all of your Valarm sensor data is geotagged and timestamped and included as you'll see in this JSON API example. Using our APIs you can create your own custom maps and integrate Valarm data into your websites using things like JavaScript and JSONP. See the Valarm blog for step-by-step -step tutorials with more on exactly how to do this. Thanks for watching, and don't hesitate to contact us at info at if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for another video.